I used to have um, a little gallery, um, sort of on Cathedral Square here, called Harriet's Art Gallery, and um, it was above um, a tea room, and they had to move. I was then approached by the council, so I did a project with the Tourist Information Office, and I got 13 artists together to do a really great project. And I quickly branded it Art in the Heart, because like it was in the heart of the city. And Then at the same time, there was this empty unit. The council just asked me whether I wanted to take this over, and, and, and before I knew it, either wisely or unwisely, I said, yeah, yeah, let's, you know, um, create an art gallery um, in, in Bridge Street. When we moved in, it was absolutely disgusting. It was just rack and ruin. And so we got this really great basement and we've gotten upstairs. <laughs> Sometimes I call it a shop and sometimes I call it a gallery and it's not because I just don't know what to call it. it this is really purposeful. It, this is this is the real thought behind this hybrid. So upstairs it's a bit more of a shop feel but not horrible retail like some kind of supermarket but it's a bit more familiar so people they don't feel like they're walking into an outer space. They don't feel like they're walking into something that's weird. Right, this is this is the basement. This is where I put all the more thought-provoking stuff. It's more of a gallery feel. We have things here that are a bit more challenging, but um, that I wouldn't even I wouldn't even dream of putting some of this stuff upstairs because people would think, oh, this place isn't for me. Some of it is aesthetic, so in my opinion, like Jenny Cairns, we've got a bit of Jenny Cairns down here, so in one way it is aesthetic, but it's more than that, you know, it's not just a pretty picture. But then we get pop art as well and urban stuff, um, and this here, now this, this, is, this is great, we, we support this artist, she uh, came from Latvia. I've, I've bought this one. That's the limited edition print. I've bought the original. Now look at that. Do you think it's gruesome? I think it's more revealing about what's going on in her rather than gruesome. And me. Okay. I, I think that. I, I don't. When I looked at that, I just thought, oh, isn't that, isn't that beautiful? That's think, what I thought. I think that's a happy or sad picture. I don't think it's sad necessarily. But she's crying. Well. I know, but I think why I found it happy, this perhaps says something about me, why I would find that image happy, <laughs> is because I just thought the colours were amazing. Mm. As soon as you say art gallery, or you make somewhere look how you would imagine art gallery with white walls, a few pieces, where, you know, a piece of artwork is, is, is isolated so people can appreciate it as you see in the museum and galleries, etc. Um, it, it's just, it's, it, whether, whether you like it or not, it's really alien to most people and they just don't see that they're part of it. It's really important to get people through the door. I don't think there's many shops in the UK actually that look as good as what we've got upstairs, but um, that gets the people in through the door and it's like reflected in the front window. So in one window it's really aesthetic, design -led. Things to buy, what do we sell, isn't this lovely, isn't this pretty, isn't this colours, you know, it's all about the aesthetics. In the other window we make statements, we challenge. I feel really passionate about just making an impact with people, um, just getting people interested, just making a difference to how people view things, making a difference to people's day-to-day -day lives, just creating something really wow. Oh, hello. Hi. How are you? Yes, right. I haven't seen you for a long time. No, no, did you think I was going to be 
you on disappear. Oh, I did, yes. Right. I was thinking about you the other day. So how are you keeping on? All right, right, yes. I had a bit of flu off. Oh, did you? That was to knock you around. Better now, yeah. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about what this outlet means to people. Jeffrey's one of our regular customers. It would like to come in. I don't know, you'd like to come in for a quiet minute or two. What do you get out of Art in the Heart? Um, what I get out of it is, well, I mean, I have bought a couple of her paintings, you so, have. you know, that, that one, that's an obvious practical thing, mm. yeah, yeah. Uh, which I would, wouldn't otherwise have ever mm. discovered. No, because yeah. that's one point. Because these things are mysterious, they're hidden away, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Because I haven't got the time to really go into it, so I just need somewhere I can pop in yeah. and see things they like. And the other thing is, it's like a little miniature holiday for me, to be honest, you know. I come in and I just have a look at the... Yeah, yeah. The colours that fascinate yeah, yeah. me. And I get a little bit of peace and quiet, it takes me into another dimension. It's a gadget case and it's made by Rose Hip. She was an art teacher for over 35 years and she makes these, this fantastic brand now. So she's an artist, her husband's an artist, he exhibits here. And they all come from within a 20 mile radius of the city centre. I don't like the word local. If you say there's an exhibition of local artists, it has this connotation that what you're going to see is actually not that interesting, unfortunately. It's like, that's not my fault. That's because the standard of local art exhibitions is, generally speaking, anything. So you mean like an amateur art exhibition? Yeah, yeah it yeah. can be anything. It can be really good, it can be okay, it can, mm. can be really bad. What we say here instead is that we source our artists from a 20, within a 20 mile radius of the city centre and that suited me at the time to actually create what we call this community interest company. I'm sourcing the best that I can find to actually say yes they're local artists, it doesn't actually tell the story, it's not the full picture of what we're doing here. But the most important thing is the quality of work and they just happen to come from within a 20 mile radius of the city centre. Artists with huge profiles here. Some, some of the artists are complete unknowns. I mean, we've got a few people here that have never exhibited before. Of course we have. That would be stupid just to take on artists who've already exhibited all over the country in galleries, which we've got. I mean, how boring would that be? That doesn't, even, that doesn't open the door to anybody. This, 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 this is the most important installation in our art gallery because if we don't get anything in here, we are kaput. We've been open 16 months. The end of January 2014, we generated net £76,000 back into the pockets of local artists. I think we've done another 19 grand in the pockets of local other local businesses so i suppose that is that success i don't know if i'd had the structure that i'd wanted from the outset it would be different again it would look better that I'd, I'd have two other businesses already linked to this i do about 70 to 80 hours a week trying to keep this place going sometimes I just think, how am I going to get all the work done? I do get sleepless nights, but not often actually, I sleep pretty well. I've just got a vision and I know, I know what I want to do. This is a real organic space, so I've got to be patient because there's so much organic growth. But it's all about nurturing. I want to go quick all the time. And this is just the beginning of the story.
Thank you.